Okay, so what we're going to do is moisturize your face. That's the first thing I did. And then now I'm going to go ahead and try the Wet n Wild Face Primer. I'm going to take a little bit. Oh, I took too much, but a little bit. And put this all over my face. This is going to help for my face to be smooth and for my, the canvas before putting everything else on. Okay, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab the Erase Paste from Benefit. And this is like a salmon looking color for under my eyes, for my under circles. I put that a little bit as, as a rectangle. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. I'm going to go ahead and do this as so. Grab my Beauty Blender. This is from Pure. And I'm going to go ahead and um, start um, pressing press, press in as so. Once that's blended, I'm going to go ahead and grab this Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Concealer Corrector in the color, let me see medium tawny I don't know if you can see it so much glare and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing under my under eyes because I'm trying to conceal more just a little bit on the second eye as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my beauty blender once again and I'm gonna go ahead and dab it in I'm gonna go ahead and dab that in all right so once that's in I'm gonna go ahead and use the wet n wild foundation um, photo foundation here I'm gonna go ahead and use the color and cream beige and I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my face and it has spatula like this which I like so I'm gonna go ahead and put some on as so I'm gonna grab my beauty blender um, as you can see it's formed like a shape like an egg but I'm gonna go ahead and use the bottom to go ahead and uh, dab it in as so, you want to dab, and you want to also make sure you go to your neckline, to your neck. You don't want to just put it here because then you're gonna have it's gonna look like you have a mask, like you're missing color here. So you don't want to do that. So you're gonna go ahead and dab all the way through, blend, blend, blend inside your skin to make it as natural as possible. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and set my foundation with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finished in medium dark. I know I said I was gonna use all drugstore, but I didn't, I already, I'm gonna use what I have already. But um, there's a good one from Wet n Wild, as well as setting powder, it's about $4. I'll put all the links down below where you can find them. And everything that I use is more, mostly going to be drugstore. So don't worry. Um, but this one is the MAC Skin Finish. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that to set all my face. So I'm going to grab this Morphe S19. And I'm going to go ahead and swirl it through. And I'm going to go ahead and put this all over. Alright, so once I set that, I'm going to go ahead and also use my MAC on Newton board bronzer so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face I want to go ahead and put some color into it as well I didn't have the bronzer for when and while but you can also get it it's like for something at the drugstore I'm gonna link it down below where you can also find it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this I'm gonna grab this um, crown brush fluffy fan I like to use this one um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do is dab it in and I'm gonna go ahead and put it, bronze my face. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put it on my temples from here. 
and then I'm also gonna put it in my jawline right here like the inside so I know some people don't know exactly what that is so I'm gonna go ahead and do my fish face <laughs> my little fish face like um, and then when you do your fish face, if you notice, it's going to be an indent. In, so that's where you're going to put your bronzer or even your contour. But I'm just going to bronze. So here. You can see, I can feel it right there going in. Also, and you also make sure that you want to go ahead and put it on your jawline as well. So it's going to be like an E. So backward E. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and do that both of your uh, side of the faces. And I'm also gonna go ahead and uh, bronze my um, my nose as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Royal Land Nickel Precision Angle Brush, as so. So I'm gonna grab a little bit, and I'm, I'm gonna put, go ahead and and put in the sides of my nose. That also helps to thinning out more your uh, nose. I can use a darker color to contour. That's usually what they call this is contouring. But I just put my bronzer there to make it look a little slimmer as so. All right. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and fix my eyebrows. Um, I'm not doing that part on camera because it's a little difficult for me on camera. Um, I'm gonna use the Gal Brow um, brow kit that I got from BoxyCharm. I really love that one. I can do my eyebrows really, really nice uh, with it. But you can also find an e.l.f. Uh, brow pencil, or I think, I don't think Wet n Wild has one, but um, ColourPop has a good one. And it's cheap for five dollars and also um elf as well is a dollar two dollars you can find those in your local target um i'm also going to leave it in the link down below so i'll be right back okay so my eyebrows are done so i went ahead and used the brow gal once again with my uh brush my angled brush from brow gal with the spoolie you can see if you want to see how I do my eyebrows, just comment down below and I'll do a video just on that itself, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is start on my eyes. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and primed my eyelids with Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion in the original. I put a little bit. This was a little sample that I have. Once again, I don't have a primer for my eyelids for Wet n Wild, but you can find get a good one primer is from e.l.f. as well. It's like $3 or so. I'm going to put the link down below. Sorry, I didn't use, you know, the e.l.f. one, but I didn't have, or the Wet n Wild. I just, like I said before, I'm just using what I have right now. So once I I, I already set it, set my lids, I'm going to go ahead and use this Wet n Wild in the Comfort Zone palette. It looks like this. This is $4.99, just $5. And it gives you, a, you know, step-by-step -step where to put it, which I like to use that as well because by all means... I still have a lot to learn, but I just love makeup, so I, I learn as I go. And um, But as you see there, it tells you brow bone, tells you eyelid, crease, and definer. So you can go by each of this and see what's uh, what you would like to do. Or you can mix, mix, mix and match. So here I go. So let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my MAC 217 brush, no, or I think is I think it's a 217, not too sure, but this flash, it, the number's not there. And I'm going to grab this color that says the eyelid right here, and I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to go ahead and dab on my lid. You don't want to go over your crease. You can if you want, but I'm not. I'm just going to keep it as low as I can from my crease. So I'm going to go ahead and dab. You never want to do swiping motion. You want to dab because you want to keep the pigmentation on the eyelid. As so. All right, so once you do it on the eyelid, I'm going to go ahead and grab this color that says crease. 
with a crease brush. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna grab this, actually this Wet n Wild crease brush. You can find this one at Walgreens or other uh, drug stores, but I found mine in Walgreens. It was $1.99. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some here. I put this on my inside my crease. So I'm gonna dab. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with wiper motion into my crease. As so. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Grab a little, dab out. And you're gonna do the same thing on this one into the crease. This is how it's gonna look. Now, I don't wanna sew a harsh line, so what I'm gonna head and do is I'm gonna grab, I think this is the two, this is the 217 brush. So you can see from MAC is fluffy, so I'm gonna go ahead and do is blend. So very important you wanna do is blend. It doesn't matter how long you take on this, but you want to make sure you blend. You don't want a harsh line. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to go ahead and do this as well on the other eye. Once I blend, I want to go ahead and deepen out my outer corner. So I'm going to grab this one. This is definer. So, and I'm going to go ahead and grab it more with a smaller dance 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 brush not dance dance brush dance brush this one's from luxie 231 small taper blush ah brush i mean so i'm gonna grab this a little bit take out the excess because i want to start really really light and i'm gonna go ahead and start on my um, eye from the corner of my eye like the v so I'm gonna start that there, but I'm not gonna put it above my crease. I'm gonna put a little bit here to define it, as you can see right in there. Sorry about my lighting. I'm trying to use natural light and also a little bit of the light that I have right now for my selfie light um, that I have. I'm working on getting a better lighting and a better camera. So just bear with me guys. As so, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to this other eye as well. So it looks something like this. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do once again, I'm gonna grab the blending brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend. Very important to blend. I don't want this so harsh, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend as much as I can to this fuse to make it everything blend together and look nice. And I'm gonna do that as well with both of the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna like it like that as right now. Oh, I have a little fall out there, so I'm gonna grab my beauty, beauty blender. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put highlight on my, on my brow bone up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fluffy brush. Not a fluffy brush, but this brush here. I'm not sure what is it from, but I got it from one of my boxes. So I'm gonna grab this one here. And put it on an arch on my brow bone. And so. And also some on my tear duct, but actually, no, I'm gonna use something else for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab now a pencil brush, something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of eyeshadow in the bottom of my lash line so as so as so and then I'm gonna grab go ahead and grab the lighter shade which is this one here and put it in the middle of my lash line so grab that and put that there as so 
Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight my inner corner of the eye. Now, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face first. I'm going to go ahead and grab this Wet n Wild Color Icon color right here. Um, this color is in Melon Wine. It's very pretty. Um, this one's like $3.99 at your local drugstore. And also this uh, blush brush from Real Technique. Now they sell it at Walmart as well and also Ulta, so you can find them there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some blush on my apples on my cheek. So I'm going to grab a little bit, tap, tap it off because it's very pigmented. I'm going to smile and put it right here, my apples. See, it's very pigmented. The same thing I'm going to go ahead and do. The other one. so and because I don't want it so strong I'm gonna go ahead and grab this buffer brush I don't know where it's from it doesn't tell me what it is but I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out because I don't want too much as so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab uh, my Milani Strobe Light Highlighter. Um, and so this is a drugstore product. I love this highlighter. Um, there is one from Wet n Wild. I think it's like $2.99 or so. But um, I had this one, so like I said before, I'm not, I wasn't going to purchase. Um, so I'm going to grab this and put it on the high of my cheekbone right here. And then the bridge of my nose and then uh, my inner corner so let me see if I find one so I'm gonna go ahead and use this precision taper brush from Lexi so I'm gonna grab this swirl it in and go ahead and put some highlight in there trying to grab as much as I can in there because sometimes it's the beginning this is brand new I had it for a few weeks now, but I haven't used it yet, so it's hard. Sometimes the surface is hard, so even with the brush, it won't come off. So it doesn't seem like it, so I'm going to have to use my finger. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see it because it's so bright, but right there, you can see it now. See that? Very, very bright. I love highlighting so for me I don't mind a lot of highlight so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow okay now I'm gonna go ahead and grab once again and use with this to put it in my inner tear duct so and this is what it's gonna do it's gonna make your eyes look bigger like wide awake I love doing this especially in the morning when I'm going to work and so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on my fake lashes uh, it's a little difficult for me to do it on camera, so I'm going to go ahead and do it off of camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now my lashes are back on. Alright guys, so what I went ahead and did after that, I went ahead and used this Rebel Rose uh, liquid lipstick. It kind of looked like a mauve, so that's what I put on my lips. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is set my makeup with this Urban Decay. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you liked and if you did please give, uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and hit the notification bell for you to know when I upload new videos and thank you so much guys for all your love and